strong demand definitely continues. Uh, it seems like there's uh, hardly any additional space and equipment available. Rates are still skyrocketing and uh, rising every week. And uh, yeah, apparently uh, there's no end to the uh, severe market situation. We hope not, but uh, one thing is also sure and what we have learned is that uh, the market is uh, very unpredictable. So um, I assume uh, we have to live with the current situation at least for the next three to six months and but probably until the pandemic is over. But yes, is this the new normal? Probably also not. It's definitely not normal that uh, we are facing uh, lots of port congestions, that there's hardly any equipment available, that every week we see new record high rates and uh, with combined with the poor schedule reliability, um, that is definitely not going to be the new normal. We hear mixed messages, so the answer is yes and no. Many factories have uh, full purchase order books on hand uh, through March or even through April. We also learned that uh, the factories are paying their workers much more money, so they stay in local and do not travel um, through the holidays and uh, basically can start working again uh, right after the holidays and uh, avoid manpower shortage. This is also supported by, by the government uh, and the government encouraged that because less travel obviously also means uh, less of a risk of a further pandemic outbreak. On the other side, uh, we also hear that uh, many factories are closing much earlier than the official start date of the Lunar New Year holidays. And the reason is simple. Uh, they have no um, purchase orders on hand because their customers are simply not willing to pay the current high freight rates. The situation in January is already much better than uh, many ports in Asia than it has been in December. However, we still have uh, the no equipment hotspots like Shanghai and Ningbo, in particular that counts for the 40 foot high cube containers and uh, 40 foot standard containers. The situation is also different from carrier to carrier and uh, the situation is changing every week. What is the outlook for February and March? The carriers are buying new equipment right now and I can assure you they are trying very hard to bring the empties back to the places in Asia where uh, the cargo is. So of course all also in their own interest because they want to enjoy the current high spot market freight rates um, as much as possible. 